welcome to Input Output Canvas. So today in this video, we'll discuss about a coding question for placement. And this is a string type question and the question is string matching in an array. Okay, so given an array of string words, so you can see in the input that given an array of string words, return all strings in words which is substring of another word in any order. So you have to return all strings in this or which is substring of another or in any order okay so here in the input string ors you can see mass as hero super these are the strings and you have to return the strings which are the substring of another string so here the first string is mass and mass is not substring of any string okay so next string is s so s is substring of this mass string because you can see here s is present inside this string so next string is hero and hero is substring of this superhero because hero is present here okay so here s and hero these two string are the substring so you have to return only these two string as output and the order of the string and the substring can be anything okay so this is the question and hope you understand the question now we will solve this question using vector because using vector we can easily store this string and return the string and we can easily handle the string okay so we will use the vector to solve this problem so if you don't know how to use vector then please watch my vector video and the link of that video will be in the description below okay so let's write the code so first of all write the basic format of the c++ that is let's include bits slash standard c++ dot h and using namespace standard first write the main function okay inside this main function we'll write a vector okay and the type of the vector will be string why the type of the vector will be string because here the input is string and we want to store all the string inside the vector so the type of the vector is string next we'll write the name of the vector suppose the name of the vector is ors we want to store ors inside this vector so let's copy all the string from here and then paste it here now we'll write a function where we'll do all the operations so suppose the name of the function is string matching string matching okay and inside this we will write the name of the vector that is words so we will pass the vector words from here okay now we will write the function here that is this string matching function here and the return type will be vector why the return type will be vector because here you can see our output is also contains string so we want to return the multiple string through a vector here will be vector and the return type will be string okay then write the name of the vector this is the name of the vector and inside this write this vector words so the data type of this words is string type vector so right here after string and then the name of the vector words now first we will sort the vector according to their size that is we will sort these vector elements as their size that is s will become first then hero then mass then superhero okay so to sort the vector according to their size we can use sort function here okay so using this sort function we can sort this so inside this we will write the name of the vector and the name of the vector is words so words dot begin then words dot end and then we will write a function which will tell the sort function that we have to sort that vector ors according to their size okay so right here have a function suppose way to sort 
okay and before this string matching function we'll write the same function write your static bool way to sort and inside this write here constant string address of a and constant string address of v so it will return so it will return a boolean value if a dot size if a dot size is less than v dot size then it will return true or it will return false so now the vector ors is sorted according to the string size okay now we'll write a for loop for iterating through the vector so for in the i equals to 0 i less than words dot size i plus plus now inside this for loop we'll write another for loop and that will be from i plus 1 to the less than the size of the vector okay so for in j equals to i plus 1 j less than words dot size and j plus plus now inside this we'll check if this string that is s this string is the substring of this next string or not Similarly, we'll check if this string is substring of this mass string or not. Again, we'll check if this string is substring of this superhero string or not. Okay. So for that, we'll write a if condition and we'll check it using find function. And I have explained you how to use the find function. So if you have not seen that video, please watch that video and it will be clear to you how find function works here okay so we'll write a find function here and we'll check if words of i is present inside words of words of j give here a dot so if words of i is present inside the words of j if this is present that is not equals to minus 1 here not equals to minus 1 means words of i is present inside the words of j string okay so here not equals to minus 1 means this condition satisfied okay so if this condition satisfied that is if words of the string i is present inside the string j then we will store that string into another vector so right here a, a result vector where we will store all the result string so write your vector and it data type is string and the name of the vector is a result now if this condition satisfied then we will push back that is words of i will be pushed back to the result okay so if we find the substring then we'll push back into the result vector and then we'll break that is we'll break from this for loop from this inner for loop and we'll check for the next string so in this way we'll iterate all the vector and finally we'll go outside of this outer for loop and we'll return we'll return the result vector okay so we'll returning the vector from here so the return type is vector and the vector contains string so the data type of the vector is string here so after returning this result from here the result will come to here that is this string matching and we will store that so how to store that we will store that into a vector because here we are returning a vector so we have to store it into a vector okay so write here a vector and it data type is string and the name of the vector is suppose a result okay so now this result vector contains all the result now we will print all the strings that is all the result strings so how to print the vector elements so we will print the vector elements using a for loop okay so write a for loop and write here auto i equals to result dot begin and i not equals to result dot 
int and i plus plus and will print every element inside the vector so for that write here asterisk i and give here a space after every output okay so our code is complete and let's run it okay so our output is s and yellow so this was our expected output so as you can see here this was our expected output so our code is perfect okay so we can also check this by giving another inputs suppose give your a v and give your suppose a and give your suppose a b c and give your b c so now for these strings our output will be b c because b c is the substring of this abc and then the next string will be a because a is also the substring of abc and next is av av is also the substring of abc and a is also the substring of this av so our output will be bc a and av so let's run it and see so you can see our output is a bc and av okay so in this way you can check this by giving another test cases and this is a very very important coding question for your upcoming coding test and hope you enjoyed this video if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to this channel okay so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care